come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> Hey, thanks for listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast, the movie review and talk show podcast that comes your way every Saturday, whether you're ready for it or not, because we're on a mission to conquer your world, specifically your world. Nobody else's world, just yours. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And these are the internet radio superstars. (laughs) Michaela, Holly. And I'm Colin. And we want to remind you that right now is uh, the time we want you to participate in our listener request month. We're going to watch a movie, four of them, that you choose uh, the month of January is your month, mm-hmm. and this is the time to make your choices. So get in there, and how do you do that, they want to know. Well, that's so you go over to our social medias, and you find that graphic that says Lister Requests, and you mm-hmm. submit a couple of movies mm-hmm. for us to watch. And then next week, uh, you're going to vote on them. So they're going to find us on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Saturday Freak Show. Or X. At Sat Freak Show. Or you can find us on uh, Instagram and threads at Saturday Night Freak Show. Mm-hmm. So head over there. The mm-hmm. graphic is pinned. You could just submit a couple of movies. Mm-hmm. The top then... four votes will be the ones we watch. Yep. So we don't even pick from what you submit. Yeah. You yeah. guys pick 100%. Yep. So right. the, only, the only way we will eliminate any choices is if it cannot be accessed anywhere. Mm-hmm. Or if we've done it before. Or if we've done it before. Well, well there's a caveat with, to that. With a caveat, yeah. That, it's two of us have to have not been here but, for it. Yeah, or have five years. And five years yeah. old. Oh, so they so. can force it, is what they you're saying. Can. They can. I mean, there's, the some, you know, and, there's some movies I saw being mentioned that I was like, well, I was not there for that episode. Yeah. So, you know. Yeah. So. As long as half of us weren't there. Yeah. And if I wasn't on it, it's at least five years old because that's how long I've been around. So <laughs> yeah. We've been doing this for a long time. <laughs> we have. For you long time listeners, thank you for sticking yes. with us. For you, uh, if this is your first rodeo, uh, welcome to the Saturday mm-hmm. Night Freak Show. Tonight we watched a movie that was chosen by... Holly. Wow, it would be weird if people found us through this movie. Wouldn't it? That'd be real weird. Yeah. This is a this weird... is the one that gets you to listen yeah. to us, huh? This is a weird <laughs> jump in uh, moment. Yes. Um, what do we watch tonight? Tonight we watched, depending on where you are, mm-hmm. um, Saint, Sint, or Saint Nick. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Depending on where you are, Colin, just put all those titles in the episode. Yeah. The slash <laughs> Sint slash Saint slash Saint Nick. Yeah, yeah, this is a Dutch movie, and it was known as Sint mm-hmm. in the in the European areas. Uh, in the United States, it's Saint Nick. Um, and then often it is just Saint. Directed by. Directed by Dick Moss. And what yeah. year was it? 2010. All right, Dick Moss. How do we know Dick Moss? Dick Moss. I mean, the name. I mean, First of all, you know Dick him for Moss. the name. And then you... Mary Dick Moss. Mary Dick Moss, everyone. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Mary Dick Moss. Mary Dick Moss. <laughs> I mean, it literally means more Dick. Yeah, I love it so much. Um, so you may know Dick Moss, uh, Mr. Dick Moss. <laughs> from the lift is is a movie that i think a lot of people know of as like the killer elevator movie mm-hmm. yeah which we did the remake of it on this the show re- which he down also directed yes. Yes. Yeah. which had no, that had a bunch of people in it naomi watts and ron perlman and michael ironside that movie was yeah. like star studded yeah. yeah. and that movie was a ride holly have you seen what dick moss looks like uh, I have. Yeah, it looks it's very just, European. Um, he looks like you know the coolest guy that's ever existed. Guy, he's he got looks, like a black bomber jacket on out of over a turtleneck. Yeah, exactly. Oh, the Matrix. Yeah. yeah, he's straight out of the Matrix. Yes. I'm saying he looks 100%. like the, he's fronting some like you know uh, Dutch metal like band, craft work. You know, <laughs> yeah, <or> yeah, yes, <laughs> yeah. You yeah. Know, he's yes, he's like my hero right now. Yeah, just, yeah. Well, he would yeah. probably be most uh, familiar to people for Amsterdam. Amsterdam, which he, which if you want to vote. I didn't on listener request month. I would not be mad about yeah, it. Yeah, I'm so. not going to be mad if you guys yeah. get Amsterdam for us to watch because it needs to come to the freak show at some point. Yeah, yeah I've seen that one yeah. like, several times now. But that's, I think, internationally probably the movie that uh, people, if they've, they don't maybe know Dick Moss, but they maybe know Amsterdam. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. which was like a kind of a police procedural slash mm-hmm. slasher mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. took place uh, with a killer in the canals of Amsterdam. Correct. I mean, you know, there's a, that's the winning, yeah. uh, you know, uh, synopsis yeah. right there. And uh, rumor has it that he passed on Nightmare on Elm Street mm-hmm. to do Amsterdam is what I I think we talked sequels? about that on our yeah. Uh, down yeah. episode. Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. He passed on it to work on Amsterdam, mm-hmm. which, you know, 
props. <laughs> but I want to see a universe where we know, get Dick Moss as Nightmare on Elm Street. You yeah. know what I'm like, saying? I was like, bro, you could have pushed it a little. You imagine longer. how many guns like, there would be in that movie. Oh my gosh. Yeah, everyone would be Dude. shooting Freddy Krueger left and right. I am getting an impression of now. I've seen three Dick Moss movies, mm-hmm. and um, everyone wants everyone wants Moss Dick. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's he's got. I was expecting like the the you know the head of the UN to show up by the end of this movie. <laughs> Uh, it's, it's always <laughs> catastrophic world ending <laughs> shit. I mean, we weren't far off. Yeah. yeah. Let's be real. That's right. You missed the. You weren't down. there for the shit. I wasn't here the for The president it. got involved. I yeah. Know. I mean, yeah. it just keeps escalating. And you're just like, I can't believe I'm watching. Entertaining. Yeah. To no yeah. end, but it was like, a rocket launcher shot into an elevator. Yeah. yeah. And wait, wasn't, wasn't there like some AI? Yeah. Well. It's, oh, a yeah, okay. yeah, it's a haunted as, elevator. It's a haunted elevator. That movie went places. Yeah. <laughs> I'm up and down mostly, but <laughs> I regret not being here for it. And yeah. I feel like maybe you should all check out that episode mm-hmm. if you yeah. if you didn't Definitely. check it out. Um, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm glad to ride. add another uh, Dick Moss movie to the rotation. I know. I, I, oh, I so I wanted to find a Christmas movie for us to watch. Mm-hmm. Um, I was like, you know what? There's got to be something out there. Like, we're running out of them. We've run it. We're running out of them, but there's got to be something we haven't gotten to. And I saw this, and I saw the trailer, and I was like, well, fucking hell, this looks like a wild ride. And I'm like, we are watching this 100%. And it was. And after I had already made that decision, I found out it was <laughs> nice. And I was like, done. So yes. yes. I love it. <laughs> it I seems know. like there were a couple that came out around this time. Uh, or maybe at least one more. There was Rare Exports. I like that one. Was that a Finnish yeah. movie? Or, uh, that one's a little slower than this one, though. This, the, the, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, this is like the action. Yeah. Because it's Dick Moss. Yeah. You know? yes. uh, <laughs> um, more Dick. <laughs> but oh, w- w- there was a lot during this time, but they were all like direct to DVD level quality, you know? Yeah. And like we were talking about as we were watching this movie, there's not enough old world Christmas movies, you know? Like right. I like, love like I mean, people love like Christmas and the history of Christmas mm-hmm. and they love like the cultural traditions and all the stuff. It's like, well then why don't we have more movies that like dive into that lore. Yeah, because it's I want spooky. Myth- I want mythology. Mm-hmm. I, like, I love that shit. Mm-hmm. Well, there's a lot going on. Like, I don't know, like half the shit that they were, because this is, it's a Dutch yeah. movie made specifically, I think, for Dutch audiences. Definitely. I mean, it's yeah. like heavy, you know, like there's a lot that doesn't translate. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I guess there's the legend of St. Nicholas or Sinterklaas mm-hmm. or, mm-hmm. you know, and so what, uh, I mean, did you do you know anything about like the historical? Well, whatever the the legend of is there right. was there a real Saint Nicholas? Yes. Okay. <laughs> and he was from Turkey or something, and yes. uh, yeah, he Saint performed Nicholas mic- miracles. Real. Okay. Um, and then this mythology. So specifically, like this mythology is the standard. Like Saint Nicholas would come and leave presents for the good children in their shoes that they would leave outside their door. And they would also leave like treats as offerings for St. Nicholas, which, you know, that carries over like mm-hmm. the stuff in America, like the stockings and the Christmas cookies. Like we all have similar traditions. Right. But Dick Moss chain turns the story around a little bit in this one. Cause it's a horror movie. It is a horror movie. Yeah. So instead of it just being like, cause the 5th of December in, in the, the Netherlands mm-hmm. is Santa's birthday. It's, you know, St. Nicholas's birthday. Um, which is funny because in Germany that's Krampusnacht, you know, exactly, like so yeah, it's the yeah. uh, European yeah, cr- Christian fo- like Christmas folklore is fascinating. And there's like a bleed over there yeah. because yeah. in this it's like the bo- the bad boys and girls he does abduct them. Mm-hmm. Yes, um, <laughs> on December fifth, which is Krampus night. Yeah. So mm-hmm. uh, you know, so a lot of crossover. Correct mm-hmm. me if I'm wrong. Then so in the Netherlands you don't celebrate Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. It's December fifth is. St. Nicholas Mm -hmm. Nicholas Day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So the lore in this movie is that every so many years, if there's a full moon on the 5th of December, that he doesn't just show up to bring presents to good children. He also murders people. Mm -hmm. So it's like everyone going to lockdown, like like a purge. Like you can't be out on the streets because he'll get you. Yeah. But but it's like not. Like this is a Krampus night or something. But it's not like super well known in this universe. Right, because only certain people have heard about this. They're like, oh, it's because like a it's myth. like because it's like Michael Myers. It hasn't happened in forty years, so no one yeah, believes exactly. it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's like a myth. Everyone's just like, yeah. oh, it's Saint Nicholas Day. Like, put out. But your- there's the one crazy sheriff the that he sheriff. sees him shit. Thank yeah. God. Yeah. yeah, yeah, 
Yeah. Right, so going into this movie, if you don't know like really what you're getting into, you know, you, there's so many like, you know, killer <laughs> Santa movies mm-hmm. and it kind of gets grouped into that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Except this is the one that where he's got like a papal, you know, hat or yeah. whatever. He's like he's a bishop. He's yeah, a haunted okay, bishop spooky hat. bishop. Yeah. yeah. On a Which horse. The, you know, an original Saint Nick was a bishop. Mm. That is Based on a true story, I'm gonna a say true person. A plus design. This is Fantastic. this is the most badass Santa I've ever seen. Fantastic. And Santa riding a big beefy horse is way cooler than anything we do with him in America. Like yeah. the Pope outfit, the the scepter, the staff with like the, yeah. the hook on it that like yeah. is shaped like an S, like yeah. a, like it's he's a Power Ranger or something. Is amazing. wild. Yeah, love yeah. it. Because they they take a they take the story of the Bishop St. Nicholas and they make it seem like instead of being a sainted man who was, you know, generous to the people and all the stuff, you know, someone who was actually sainted in this story, it's more like, like Viking raids. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like he and his minions or his mm-hmm. Peters, his, his Peters um, come into the town. And if they don't get their offerings, they're going to like, Okay, so was that, was that what's happening? <laughs> yes. So there is a scene that takes place in 1492. Yes. That's yes. where the movie starts off. And I got to tell you, based on the visual uh, effects at the beginning of this movie, I'm like, oh, man, we are in for something mm-hmm. substandard. I was stoked. <laughs> Were you? <laughs> the first yeah. shot of the movie is a model Viking boat. Uh, um, like a computer boy. model. Yeah. Because I was sitting there going, like, would it kill you to, like, build the thing and help it out with computers? But this is, like... It doesn't even really? move in the water. No. Like there's waves and the boat is sitting completely still. It's yeah, it's, yeah. I was, it's, and it's it's funny because um, around the same time as when the Tudors was on Showtime, and they did the same thing on that show. They would have like the computer, really? the computer generated ships and like computer generated castles and but stuff. Like this Even bad. though they had like, like was, HBO money or Showtime, Showtime, it was this bad. Money? Okay, yeah, oh, it wow. was that's bad. surprising. It was very yeah. obviously digital. Huh. Yeah. So that was, I guess, for me going into it first time tonight was like that was a hurdle I was going to have to get over. Yeah, the, from the and, jump. And you're like, well, either the movie is going to you know rectify this but just for those of you who might start it and go like uh, i'm getting out of this because it looks really bad Hang it in looks there. really bad Hang in there, yeah. Buddy. <laughs> yeah um i was more offended by uh, the digital blood was yes the worst i've ever real seen bad. ever bad. all yeah. the the killings and there are a lot of them it's very gory but it seems like it's mostly digital mm-hmm. bad digital mm-hmm. <laughs> so you got to stick with that I it guess. does not look like yeah. 2010 like, no, I'm like the Lord no. of the Rings was ten years prior to the. I mean, yeah. this was you know. Yeah. Yeah. This like, looks like later day Dario Argento movies. Yeah. It's, like, it's really bad. And um, the funny thing is, is that they even like did things to save money on this movie. Like Dick they Moss, hired Russians. Yeah, yeah, they hired Russians. Dick Moss did all the music. <laughs> yeah. Himself, yeah. Nice. To save score. money. I think he did the score on the last one. He does. Watched, he does so the score for his yeah. movies to save money. I remember yeah. the score being aggressive on the Shaft. I think yeah, he commented yeah, yeah. on it. Yeah. Um, okay, so in 1492, we're introduced to St. Nicholas yes. and his band of Black Peters. Correct. Which I'm like, okay, again, I don't know the uh, history of this, mm-hmm. you know, because we have Santa Claus and elves, and this is, uh, I mean, is this like, this is bad. I think we, we yeah, talked I about. Yeah, I was going to say, I, I think Michaela has done a little uh, research. I looked okay. it up because I needed an, yeah. to know, to, an answer about this. Okay, so this is a real thing in Dutch culture. <laughs> um uh, yeah, he's called Black Peter, and he is uh-huh. supposed to be a African individual. Yeah. Um, and unfortunately, this involves blackface and the curly wig and the makeup, and it's very unfortunate. However, as of 2021, the Netherlands doesn't do this anymore. He well is, done, Netherlands. He's now, it took him till 2021, <laughs> but um, he's called Sooty Pete now. And it's, Sooty Pete. Yes. And S-O-O-T-Y, it's just. O T Y? Yep. Yep. Okay. yep. Like soot. Yeah. Yes. From the yes. chimneys. Yes. Oh. And so okay. instead of them wearing blackface, it's just whatever color the actor is, and they put a little bit of like dirt soot on their face. On their yeah. Face. Like soot oh, on their okay. face. So it's okay. okay. We we can let it go and we passed it. Let's move on. Because they've moved on. You rectified the situation. Yep. Well done, Netherlands. But wow, it was... We applaud you. Shocking to see in this movie. Did not expect that. Yeah. (laughs) This was was, 2010. Yeah, Yeah. it was kind of... Because, I mean, like, not knowing the... You know, because, like I said, we have elves, but is, is our version of Santa Claus... I think we were talking on one of the previous, vastly different <laughs> but be, because of the Coke ads, right? Yes, like the, absolutely. The, 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 whatever yes. that. Okay, so one hundred percent. Coca Cola is responsible for our our Santa, Santa. Santa. Yes, yeah. but like this historical one. I mean, you were saying if he's from Turkey, okay, mm-hmm. so he's got these henchmen or whatever mm-hmm. who. In this movie, it's presented like 
they are, like you said, Viking raiders. Basically, yeah. yeah. They're like pillaging villages. Mm -hmm. Even though he's a ordained bishop or something of the Catholic right. Church. I mean, but also, like, this isn't exactly a stretch yeah. if you look back at history. Yeah. And I'm assuming the, the movie's taking yeah. liberties. The Crusades with, with were a yeah. rough time, man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it, so. it is pretty badass when he's riding down the street Dude, and, like, in his outfit with the horse and they're dope. all riding around him. It was pretty cool. It's dope. <laughs> And it, like, imagine living in this time and seeing that coming at you. Like, terrifying. that must feel like seeing, like seeing an alien, right? It's, like, yeah. God, that'd be so fucking scary. And then, like, you have no proof. You have nothing but your own trauma. Mm -hmm. Like, and yeah. you just got to be like, mm -hmm. hope people believe you. And you're like, dude, this fucking bishop rode in on his horse and all his little black elves right? came and raided our village. It's wild. And so they murder everyone in the village. Kidnapped well, not everyone. Say, yeah. Children, yeah. And then the villagers rise up and we see this. This is all you know, very stylized at the beginning. You know, it's like pitchforks and torches. Love it. I and, don't, I don't, we don't get enough mob action. Right. In movies. Yeah. We okay. Really but don't. this shot of everyone raising up their tools at once up. in front of the moonlight. <laughs> ah, is perfect. Love beautiful. It. <laughs> and they sail out into the harbor and set the boat. Uh, Cause I guess that's a yeah. part of the mythology. Mm hmm is uh, St. Nicholas yeah. arrives so, on yeah, a boat. Yeah, this would have been like, yeah, St. Nicholas arrives on a boat and this would have been like the original night of like overtaking St. Nicholas. Um, it wasn't actually his birthday, it was his death day. Because dun, dun, the villagers dun. rise up and set the boat on fire and he burns alive. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So yeah. this is setting up uh, your kind of standard, <laughs> uh, you know, like uh, origin of your bad guy story. Mm -hmm. And then I, he didn't like place a curse on anybody or anything. No, and he like, was just like, I'll be back and and it, like, internally. <laughs> and, it, and it seems like the movie, <clears throat> and again, I don't know if this is a thing in Dutch culture or whatever, but it yeah. seems extremely localized to the city of Amsterdam. Yes. Yeah. Um, it does. Yeah. It's not like all of the Netherlands. It's mm -hmm. just Amsterdam. It's very Amsterdam specific. And yeah. I, I wish I could speak more to that, but I'm not familiar enough with the culture and holiday. Well, of that well let's do a freak show field trip to Amsterdam yeah, and figure yeah. it out. I am you know, here for yeah. that. <laughs> let's do it. I'm so here for that. Well, the movie then flashes forward to 1968, which right. is uh, there's a full moon. The, yeah. On December 5th. And what happens? Uh, we see a nice little farm in, uh, I, I'm guessing the outskirts of Amsterdam and a uh, family of mother, uh, father and was it three children or four children? Four children. Four, yeah. Four children. Um, kids are getting doing their you know Saint Nick traditions. They're putting out. They're they're singing their carols. They're putting out their their little their wooden clogs, shoes. Yes, and you know their tr their treats, their offerings for for Santa. And the oldest son is ordered by dad, who's watching TV, to go check on the pigs because suddenly there's like a ruckus outside mm -hmm. and the pigs are agitated and upset. So, oldest son goes to check on the pigs, and while he's gone, it turns out they weren't alone in the house. Dun, yeah, because mom walks past a pantry. A pantry. And, and <laughs> there's all, Santa eyes behind there's, the, there's like big, the burned yeah. zombie Santa eyes suddenly. Yeah, open. in between like canned goods. Yeah. yeah. Between like a jar of olives yeah. and just Santa eyes. So it's a burned zombie Santa movie. Yeah, so zombie sure. Santa and his army of minions have all come back from the dead, burned alive. Yep. Every full moon yep. on mm -hmm. December 5th. Okay. And so they kill everyone in the farmhouse. Um, and, well, they yeah, suck people snatch, up the... Yeah. yeah, they snatch a couple of the kids up the chimney. Oh my God, this is hilarious. It's These kid fantastic. actors really sell it too. Yeah. My favorite was the... The youngest little girl that falls flat on her face, like face oh, plants yeah. into the face rug. Plans, and then there's like <laughs> drug. Yeah. Yeah. And these kids are like yoinked up the, yes, up the chimney. Yeah. It's comedic. It's, it's so great. fucking funny. It's like they get stepped in one of those old timey rope traps that pull you up a tree. Yes. Like that's what these kids look like going up this chimney. But this also is kind of, again, for the first time we're going into it, it's setting like a tone, right? It's mm -hmm. like, there, <coughs> pardon me, there's going to be. Uh, violence and bloodshed. Yes. Gory, but it's no goofy. No one is spared. <laughs> so I guess you could either read this as it's cheap or, you know, uh, silly, or this is intentional. I think this is all intentional, right? He's like lightening the mood of yeah. this horror story because yes. it's not really scary. It's going to be fun. He's going for fun, right? I, he usually does. Dick Moss mm -hmm. is usually like, yeah. let's incorporate fun into this, which yeah. I appreciate. Yeah. Entertainment above all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know? 
Like, okay. let's give the people what they want. They're going to laugh. They're going to be scared. They're mm-hmm. going to, like, it's going to be action packed. Things give are going to explode. Yes, give yeah. the people what they yeah. want, which I love. From Did I read uh, something about um, the promotion of this movie mm. and its poster? Oh, its poster won an award. Yeah, <laughs> the, the, the poster won won some sort of design award. I forgot what best, it is. Best, uh, it was like best cinema poster of yeah. the year. But there was a controversy about it. Um, mm-hmm. If I read correctly, uh, you know, basically, I guess in the Netherlands, Saint Nick is this, uh, you know, uh, uh, nice guy. Well, yeah, because like I said, Dick Moss tur- totally yeah. turns the story upside down. Like, obviously, this movie is complete yeah. fabrication. Two audiences there, complete fabrication. Like yeah. the like the Netherlands, the Dutch, they act, they celebrate like the Saint Nicholas, like yeah. the actual the bishop, the good guy. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. that's this is. This is fake. This, this is, is turning it upside poster. down. It is a it's good a poster. great poster. Yeah. So to have this poster, which basically shows a shadowy uh, bishop-looking character <laughs> on a fuck. horse, awesome. you know, <laughs> going through the snow, kind of backlit. Parents were upset, outraged because mm. uh, this was showing zombie Santa Claus, and Murder children, children. <laughs> might see uh, the zombie face. Apparently, the zombie face wasn't obscured enough in the shadow, mm. and so it was scaring children. <laughs> children might believe. That that's the real Santa Claus. And Dick Moss <clears throat> had to go to court. He had to go to court. My hero. He had to go I to court this. where he was like, you know, I mean, well, basically, if, if parents have kids that they have to, you know, convince yeah. that there is a Santa Claus. Right. That us having a, you know, yeah. and so the court was like, okay, and they threw it out. I think, well, I mean, he won. Goodness. And then it yeah. won the best uh, poster of uh, Dutch doing. cinema for that year. I love. I love. What, wow! What a fuck you to that. That those people that were offended by it right? to give it. Then I love that. I hope they were trolling by giving that award. They're like, oh, people hate this. Well, guess what? It's the best yeah. poster. The best of the year. poster of the year yeah. could have been. Yeah. I don't know when I the award so. was given. So. If that was but after like, I the... hate. I hate that attitude that some parents have like that. That like the world needs to accommodate my child. Like my child saw something that was terrifying, and so it can't <laughs> exist. It's like no, you're a parent. It's your job to handle it. It's not. It's not Dick Moss's job to censor himself. Okay, let the man create his art. Yeah. Right. It's like recently I went to like the a light show in yeah. Wisconsin with a couple friends, and we're walking through, and obviously this is like a family event. Like right. there's kids everywhere, and I'm walking through. I'm like, fucking hell! Look at all these yeah. lights. I'm yeah. Just, like that's the risk of being in yeah, public. I'm you like, might hear someone care. swear. Like, yeah. I'm in awe, and this is yeah. great, and I swear. So yeah. I don't care. You could also just tell your kids, hey, it's not real. You say that. Just right? like, hey, yeah. it's just a movie. It's just not yeah, real. Just a movie. Yeah. Real. Yep. Yep. So real, real um, easy solution, yeah. Like that should be a conversation you ha- you have with your kids. Yeah. Like, guess what? These things aren't real. Mm-hmm. Movies are fake. Mm-hmm. Santa fine. Claus isn't real. Oof! Ouch! Wow! Wow! Hopefully, no that. kids were listening. I to know, this yeah. Episode, Colin. Jeez. Um. So entertainment, like you said, mm-hmm. is what we're gonna get. So now we flash for oh, well, Gert, 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 Gert mm-hmm. uh, survives because he was sent out to the. Yeah, the, Gert was the oldest son who went to check on the pigs. Yeah, mm-hmm. and his. The whole family is slaughtered while he's outside. And he actually, while he's out there, he sees Santa on the roof. And he sees the Peters on the roof. Yep. And we get the first glimpse of Santa on his horse. With the so moon, cool. With the moon behind him and the snow falling. And yeah. Okay, this horse. Metal is all fuck. I looked it up a little bit because I was like, is this <laughs> a the real horse, horse? The horse's name is Capri. Yeah, and yeah. I saw that a lot of this was real horse footage. Yes. that They like obviously augmented and stuff. But yeah. But like this, I don't think we're selling up. This guy is riding his horse, but like on the point of a roof. Yeah. Like he's on the very tippy point of this roof. And then the horse is like rearing up on its back it's legs, amazing. like in the moonlight. And that's our first glimpse of this guy. I'm sorry. The Krampus movie could never like it's, uh, this. <laughs> it's metal as fuck. The Krampus movie could take a few notes from this movie, I think. Yeah. Well, cool. we cut then to present day present day and we're going to be introduced to a galaxy of characters because this is also a dick boss movie yeah mm-hmm. and he does this and, he, and, and every movie he, there's like a if lot there's of one people thing dick does it's moss yeah. yes <laughs> um oh the guy who's the lead in uh in amsterdam is playing saint nick yes he is. nice yes um 
Okay, so so who are our characters? But, the, just- but the the scenes of him on a horse is um, I just I think this is great. The guy that was actually riding the horse his name's Jolly. Yeah, <laughs> that's funny. I love it. Sorry, I need, I need like a canon style. You know those documentaries about canon films. I need that about like Dick Moss's movie making yeah. career. I want to see yeah. him behind the scenes. I want to see how I shit if happens. There is anything out? Yeah, there. like I I need to know more about. This, well, it said at the guy. end of this there was a making of uh, <gasps> like in the credits the credit of the making. So probably oh on the gosh. DVD or the blu-ray oh shit yeah. <laughs> yeah. um yeah. okay so i apologize i didn't do it ahead of time but this needs well to be now yeah now i yeah. got homework to do obviously, so obviously yeah so who are our main characters that we're introduced to in the present day our main character in this movie besides gert is frank okay and who's frank um i are they high school i got the impression they were college, college? I, I hope so because I, they're getting dildos given as I, gifts okay, this in whole scene, their class. This, this, what yeah. the hell? Okay, I feel like this scene got so stuck in my brain that I missed a good <laughs> chunk of the other movie because I was trying to figure this out. Yeah, that's What fair. was happening that's in this fair. scene? So this particular scene... It's it, like they're, a classroom they're setting. In a, they're in a classroom, and again, like not positive. I, we think it's college, but we're not positive. Um, but what is happening is the class is participating in a secret Santa a gift exchange. Yep. And the theme of the gift exchange is sex. Apparently. Because, like it, it is because everyone is getting some sort of like sexy time item. Like yep. one girl, you could see she had like lotions and oils. Another mm-hmm. girl had like giant the fake boobs. boobs. Yeah. And the, the girl that we open on opens up there a was dildo. A, there was a vibrator too. There's yeah. a vibrator. Like, like it's all sex related. This is in school. They're so opening again, this in yeah. front of the whole class. As Americans, we don't understand this at all because this would get you like sent to somewhere where you'd yeah. be in prison for the rest of your life. That teacher but, would Ameri- be, yeah, that teacher would be in jail immediately. <laughs> yes. Yeah. America both runs on and shames sex simultaneously. Yeah. Yes, exactly. <laughs> but here it's just like, uh, here's, we, well, congratulations c- class. We yeah. had six dildos this year yeah uh, and which I, by the way something i applaud europe for being yeah. so open about sex i admire you for it it's just we don't understand <laughs> oh i feel like you can't even show a dildo in a movie in america no, like yeah. let alone like six of them at once and people wagging them in each other's faces in the middle of class like yeah. Yeah. i just feel like she that literally would, that would get you with, a nc-17 hits a guy with it yeah, yeah everybody's uh, very Fantastic. open with it yeah. uh just you know uh, it's a it's a level of frankness, I guess, that we're not accustomed we to. We are not. And again, much admiration. Yeah. But for Frank, Europe. speaking of frankness, <laughs> Frank gets a gift that is basically the it, breakup. It's gift. a breakup box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brutal, <laughs> brutal. God, this oh, is so this brutal. is so cruel. This is Sophie, right? Yeah. Uh, gives oh. him all of his stuff back. Basically. Yeah, and, but he opens it in front of the class. That's the worst. Part. And there's like a letter. It's yeah. basically like you're not getting anything from Saint Nick or anyone ever again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh my god! It's brutal. Yep. Okay, that's a surefire way to get someone to shoot up a school is by doing that to Seriously. them. Because like, like, first of all, the gift in itself was humiliating, but then the added humiliation of opening it in front of all your classmates so everyone knows your business. Oh my god! Yeah. This is just so we're like, rough, okay, man. either Frank is the victim of something or he's a douchebag. We don't know. And then yeah. it finds out because Sophie's upset. She confides in her blonde friend. Mm-hmm. His name is... Don't remember. Yep, the blonde Blonde friend, friend. who is one of the main characters of the movie, I think, maybe. Uh, She dresses in a way that to an American eye, or at least to my eye, reads as a prostitute. She has, like, the furry coat... That's, uh, no, that's not uh, a that's that's leopard just, skin. That's stuff. just a European twenty ten. I think yeah. it's a, yeah. I think it's just it, okay. that time and place. It's a European twenty ten. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I know she's not. I mean, she's yeah. presented as you know innocent uh, yeah. Dutch uh, uh, girl, but it's just like you know, like mm-hmm. oh, that's an attractive mm-hmm. getup <laughs> used here by hookers. Um, mm-hmm. so yeah, so it turns out that Sophie has broken up with Frank because he had a dalliance. Lisa. Lisa, okay, there we go. It's good yep. to know this. Yep. Uh, with a pool girl, or at the beach shed or some of the pool shed or whatever the hell they're saying, and with this blonde girl, that's all Sophie knows. And Sophie is best friends with Lisa, and they go home right. and they live uh, down the street from each other. Because and it yeah. turns out that Frank has been diddling yeah. Lisa. But I mean, it's it's not a surprise because when this all unfolds. Like Frank it clearly is like agitated, but he doesn't seem to really care that much. Mm-hmm. And also like um 
what was the girl that broke up with him? Sophie. Sophie. She also was just very like cold about it. She's well, like, she's been seeing the tattoo. Well, that's guy. what we find out. We find out that I knew when I saw her nipple ring that she yeah, was seeing somebody else. Literally both been cheating on each yeah. other. Mm-hmm. So there but you so, go. Lisa or Sophie doesn't know that Lisa was the person that uh this yes. is drama. Yeah. And so this is a setup for something. I don't know. Um December the twenty fifth arrives. It's gonna be a Fifth. full moon. Oh, sorry, December fifth arrives, yep. full moon. And that means that St. Nicholas is out there descending upon mm-hmm. Amsterdam tonight. Yeah. There's one more character who's important to the plot. And that is Police Chief. Gert. Gert? Gert. Gert, yeah. the kid from nineteen sixty. Yeah, 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 the yeah. police chief, yeah. Was he a police chief? No, he's a detective. Well, oh, yeah. detective. Yeah. Okay. And he has spent his time on the force preparing a manual on how you're going to battle St. Nicholas mm-hmm. when he returns, and everybody, too much yeah. to the chagrin of his superiors. He basically okay. like writes a thesis on yeah. Sa- the real St. Nick and what happens on the fifth and a full moon. But when we first see him present day, oh, that's wow, great. what yeah. an entrance. Okay. Yeah. This guy walks into his desk at the police station and sees a big St. Nicholas gift on his desk and just immediately unloads like what, six rounds in yeah. this thing? Like it's just <laughs> immediately shoots the fuck out Yeah. Of it. And it starts like looking like it's bleeding and they're like, oh, you just shot up a whatever, like, like four, four bottles, bottles of wine. wine. Yeah. 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 And uh, he act- he's clearly like, wow, He's a man on the edge. He's, yep. un- he's unstable. I like that the, the, the police chief calls him in. And he's like, never in my 42 years have I seen someone execute their Christmas present. Yes. <laughs> and then he forces him to take a leave, which like, yes, you should. Yeah. At the very yeah. least, he should be taking a leave for the, the whole, whole month of December. Yeah. yeah. Which, Come back when you're not triggered by this time of year. <laughs> but Gert is like, we have to do something. We have to protect people. That's what my job is. And so we know that Gert's going to be out there He's looking still on for the case. a Saint yeah. Nick when he reappears. Where does Saint Nick reappear? At Sophie's house. Mm-hmm. What's he, what happens? <laughs> Uh, well, Sophie is, is that her little brother? Is I think her, so. I thought I it was her so. kid. Her kid? I don't and know. And I'm like, did Frank know that? Yeah. Yeah. It's very unclear how old anyone is yep. because then we see another, we see other houses where they're with their parents mm-hmm. and she's with this little kid. I don't know. They probably are in high school. She mean, maybe she's babysitting. Yeah. I have no idea. She said she was l- babysitting her little brother that night. She oh, was inviting she Lisa to come over. That's right. And I'm going to be she babysitting She was watching her brother. little brother. That's right. Even so, though it appears that Sophie lives in a room in the house. By yourself, you like it's a a room. We're not was like that her have, room. I thought that was like a TV room, like a den. okay, maybe. Yeah, because she's like si- she's like sitting there watching TV and she's building herself a little fire and it looks so cozy. Yep, I'm mm-hmm. here for it. Yeah, she's having yeah. a good night just chilling on the couch by this fire. Yeah, like, I want this night. But mm-hmm. then there's uh, hoof sounds on the roof. Yeah, it and wakes up a little brother. Mm-hmm. She goes to care for him and he's like, "Why don't I get Christmas presents?" And she's like, "Because we don't believe in that shit." Which, Which, like, you can still give Christmas gifts even if you don't believe in this. Yeah, but she says it's a crash commercial enterprise, and so she's just uh, standing by her. Yeah. Yeah. Poor kid. Yeah. So then that's what happens, right? Maybe that's why she was selected first by uh, St. Nicholas. Yeah. And she gets yoinked up the chimney. Yeah, she does. (laughs) She sure does. Yeah. And we're like, oh, no, this is going to, because Lisa hears this happen Mm -hmm. on the phone. She's on the phone. Yeah. And runs over there, and there's a crime scene. And this is going to lead into something, because Frank, who was uh, Sophie's boyfriend, Mm -hmm. and therefore a chief suspect, of course, as far as the police is concerned, he's dressing up as St. Nicholas with his buddies in blackface, going as Black Peters. Mm -hmm. And they're going out, and what were they going to do? They were, he said something about um, the first years were going to, like, be sitting on his lap. So it sounds like they were going to go to some school thing. Um, I I don't know. It feels like Ben Tramer dressing up as Michael Myers <laughs> in Halloween. It's like you're asking for problems, bro. Yes. Yeah. It's totally. it's it's Saint Nicholas night, and you're gonna dress up like the thing. Everybody is like, we need to kill it because it's gonna kill us this year. You know, but like yeah, like we said earlier, not many people are aware of this. Yet. Yeah, apparently yeah. only mm-hmm. only Gert. Yeah, and then as we find out, there's it's, other people. But yes, yeah. So uh. So he runs into the real St. Nicholas. Because, I mean, that's basically just it, right? Mm-hmm. Like, St. Nick, it's like night falls, and this guy's prancing around town on his horse, mm-hmm. killing people with the goal of killing people. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. It's pretty awesome. Yeah. And so he attacks Frank and his cronies mm-hmm. in their car. Right. So we get, we get a couple 
death scenes here. And I'm trying to remember. The one guy gets, gets the knife through the back of the head when he steps out of the car. Right. I remember that. The other guy steps out to pee. And they're like, what's taking him so long? Is his dick frozen mm. to the pole or whatever? He sticks his head out the window. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. And that's, yeah. Yeah. And that's when it face. goes through. Yeah. And mm-hmm. this scene's actually executed pretty well. I mm-hmm. mean, because this is, I guess, the thing that, like, to me, the CG is, like, so bad, mm-hmm. right? It's the Russian bad, yeah. CG is so bad. I say Russian because in the credits, it's, uh, yeah, yeah, the effects, the and, effects you know, were yeah. Russian, yeah. Um, but the actual practical stuff is, like, better than you would expect. Mm-hmm. It's executed well. It's shot well. It's like, oh, okay, because this guy has experience doing these other movies. Mm-hmm. So it's like, it's kind of jarring. It's like, if you can get through the bad special effects, you know, matte shots, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It actually does seem like okay once you get into the movie proper. Mm-hmm. Um, but Frank gets away, but he's arrested because he's suspected now. Because yeah, of- now at this point, there's witnesses that have seen someone dressed as Saint Nick coming into these houses where people have died or gone missing. Because yeah. the little brother is taken, and yeah. Did the the scene in the children's hospital happen uh, around here before this? Lengthy scene involving yeah, it a happened nurse. after because it's while he's in custody. Oh, that yeah, this happens. Yeah. Okay, what happens there? So we cut to uh, a, a hospital, uh, some sort of facility where we see a nurse who's clearly the only one on duty that night, and she's in charge of the children's wing, and so there's just this hall of all these kids that are in this infirmary type situation. Um, and you know, she's, she's clearly away from her family, opens a present, whatever. And then the lights go out, which is a clear sign in this movie that Sint has arrived. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There, there's yeah. The, thing. the lights always go out. Yeah. So he has like an electrical presence or mm-hmm. something when you're in the present, there's another, a telltale sign that you're around him. Mm-hmm. You start to smell. Oh, you smell burning. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you smell burning. And there, and here in the hospital, there's like these like little, little piles. piles of ash. Yeah, yeah, that mm-hmm. was kind of cool. That was cool. Yeah, I wasn't yeah. sure what that was. It just means that they they ran the burning uh, zombies ran down the hallway. Or? Like that's I thought it was like leaving. his footprints. Yeah, yeah okay. he's leaving trails of ash because yeah. he's burnt out. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And there is a scene after the nurse and the security guard meet their demise. There's this scene where uh, the doors to the oh, infirmary open, it's all foggy, and the kids are all like, oh, great. Yeah. And then St. Nicholas appears in the doorway yeah, on his horse. On like, his horse. Yeah. yeah. Oh. And they're like, this is fantastic. And then they and see then his they, face. And then they suddenly just get terrified. Yeah. yeah. It's like <laughs> it's, so it's, it's like the horror version of that scene in uh, Revenge of the Sith where Anakin shows up to say hi to the, yes. kill all the younglings. It's like that, but the whole way horror <laughs> right. version of it. Yeah. It's, I don't like, think we see it. Anakin. Yeah. <gasps> yeah. <it's laughs> Exactly. That's what those kids did when they saw a scene. They don't actually show any of yeah. the deaths here yeah. where it's implied. And I think, you know, said light, later, mm-hmm. like 35 kids are killed. Mm-hmm. Um, Which is holy shit. Oh, my God. Could you imagine like a headline well, and, of that? And, and here's, think, and oh here's the thing is uh, they don't they don't say like if they say that they were all killed, but we think they were taken. Mm hmm. By the Peters. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. But they do eventually die. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because yeah. they're blown up. Yeah. <laughs> a ship blows up yeah. left and right. So, oh, that's right. They die. Yeah, we hear the screams. Yeah. That's true. I forgot dark about that. Oh, it's yeah, dark. It's so oh, wow. Dark. It's yeah. Dark okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. it's the cover story later yeah. that says yeah. they all died in the hospital. Yeah. Right. Because there was a fire in the They did die and they were in the hospital, but that's not where they died. Yeah. So they were abducted and taken out to the ship. The ship arrives and like destroys a police patrol boat, I think, when it arrives. They get the. Ominous or something on the uh, radar. The radar. It's like they're everything's clear, but then like things are going wonky, and they're like, "Oh, I need a new GPS for Christmas or whatever." Mm-hmm. And all of a sudden, there's an insanely fast moving ship coming right at them that they can't see. Yeah, mm-hmm. and it cleaves Just their boat in two or through something. Them, like yeah. That. Um. So now this is a. I was I was kind of like, okay, so what's going on here? They got um. They have the uh, Frank, right? And they're Frank, interrogating yeah. him. They yes. bring Lisa in. So we're bringing these two plot strands together, mm-hmm. trying to keep them relevant. Um, it's like, she's like, he would never do anything mm-hmm. like that, right? Mm-hmm. But he's the prime suspect. Um, and the 
police chief now and he's like what there's somebody out killing somebody dressed as santa that kind of sounds like what gert uh-huh. was telling me before i put him on leave and so he calls in like van striker or whatever yeah. his name is mm-hmm. and this guy who is this i i i feel like he is just by himself the dutch mafia like just him yeah. <laughs> he looks like a russian mobster. Yeah. he's dressed in a black trench coat mm-hmm. and he's bald and he's like the bruiser yeah you know? mm-hmm. and his and he's got a booming voice yeah it is yeah i think just he is the mafia just him so maybe he's not even a cop i don't know i don't know because he's like you know find him bring him in and keep it quiet he, bring Gert. Yeah. Find, go find Gert. Yeah. Bring him in. I need to talk to him. Says Keep the police quiet. chief. And this is the guy who's tasked with doing it. And this yeah. guy just kind of hammers his way through Amsterdam looking for a police detective mm-hmm. who apparently nobody can reach on a cellular telephone. Even though he has one. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, I know. Like, yeah, we see him on this? his phone. <laughs> he breaks into the guy's apartment with his, he's got, you know, guys working for him and they're all going through mm-hmm. with the flashlights and. You know, and it yeah. turns out Gert has one of the... the like the red string situations. Yep, yep. <laughs> Here's where St. Nicholas is hit in the past and all this, so... Um, I was secretly hoping it was going to make the pat the shape of his, like, scepter. Like, the, oh. the houses he's hitting or whatever, like the red string. And he, like, <laughs> I think that was just sticking in my brain from a split second when they were like, look, it's oh, a yeah. map, you know, yeah. sort of thing. Yeah, yeah the pentagram. Yeah. You lay it over there. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Um, so Frank is being transported somewhere, not to jail. I can't remember. Yeah, they they say they're taking him to prison. After the interrogation. Oh, to prison. Yeah, Yeah. he's going to prison. And, uh, so he's in the back of a squad car. (laughs) And while he's in the squad car, something happens. Yep. The, they get a call over the, the police radio saying there's a suspect on a horseback and they're following him. And they're like, well, what road's he on? Like, well, he's not on the road. Yeah. He's on the rooftop. Dun, 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 cut to <laughs> coolest the scene. best movie. car chase rooftop chase scene ever. <laughs> this horse is flying over it's these fucking so roofs, great. and like, yes, there is some CGI, but there's some real scenes, and you can tell in here of that horse jumping over shit, and that looks pretty oh, yeah. fucking cool. Yeah, they definitely yeah. had some sort of um, like obstacle course that mm-hmm. they filmed this horse on, yeah. and then. Put it on the rooftop. Mm-hmm. There's a bunch of jokes here, too, which are kind of funny about, like, you're shooting at St. Nicholas or, you know, whatever. Mm-hmm. Cops are driving down the street with it, leaning mm-hmm. out the window, like, oh firing God. at the... It's fantastic. Mm-hmm. ...at, uh, you know, Father and Christmas. And there's <laughs> these great shots of him, like, jumping over from rooftop to rooftop and, it, like, right in front of the moon. Yes. The snow, and, oh, it's great. Slow-mo jumping yes. in possible gaps. But I also love the hard cuts to like inside the houses he's running over. Oh and it's just like the walls are rattling and you hear like the hooves over the ceiling. <laughs> I love that. And then when he crashes through. Yeah. They eventually the shoot the horse and it crashes through a skylight. Yes. Into a very like bougie apartment with two gentlemen who yeah. are clearly lovers. Yes. And they're like, I thought we weren't celebrating St. Nick this year. And then they <laughs> flawless start fighting, presumably about that. Yeah. And then, but then the horse falls again through the next floor and then out a window after that yeah. onto a police car. Yeah. It yeah. kills the both. Police- the, yeah. That's yes. the one that Frank is in. Yeah. Kills, kills the cops. Like falls onto one of the police cars that was chasing them. And I, at this point I'm like, this is cool, but this is a lot of brutality to put this horse through. And I'm like, I kind of don't like how much this horse is being put through at this point. It's Okay. Don't worry, I my that feeling went away very quickly because this horse gets up off this car, yeah, and shakes off like a dog, yeah, and has like zombie patches all over him, so he's like <laughs> undead, yeah. And this horse looks at him and is like, "You want more, bitch?" Like yeah. this horse is totally fine, yeah, okay. love it. And Frank is somehow fine. Yes. he is able to get out of this, mm-hmm. still handcuffed, and he has a close encounter with Saint Nicholas, yes, mm-hmm. who shows up and like lifts up. I think because he unloads, he shoots at him, right. Mm-hmm. And uh, with the cop's gun and St. Mm-hmm. Nicholas is kind of, I'm like, is he going to kill him? Because he kills everybody. But it was kind of that, like, you know, you shouldn't do that, kid, or something like that. Mm-hmm. You know, he just seems disappointed in mm-hmm. him. Um, but I think he was going to kill him until all of a sudden Gert shows up. With a flamethrower. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Who knew? 
right? Yeah, I didn't yeah, see yeah. that coming. Which, no. but I mean, I guess like he's. It makes sense because like fire is what. No, it does. Make, it him. does yeah. make sense, but yeah. we hadn't established that yet. Right. right. There was no Chekhov's flamethrower. We just, we just yeah. see a yeah. flamethrower. But once we had it, and Saint Nicholas like runs away, I'm like, oh, it's a Freddy Krueger thing. He's afraid of the thing that killed him. Yeah, yep. he was set on fire. It makes sense. Yeah, <laughs> and Gert, of course, becomes our font of uh, Saint Nicholas knowledge. Mm-hmm. Because he's tracking him down on a boat on the canals of Amsterdam, yes. which he has loaded with explosives, and he's taking Frank along mm-hmm. as they're are gonna try and what's the, so what's the plan? What what is what has he figured out about Saint Nicholas the weakness and how does he plan to exploit it? The boat at yep. a specific time, right? Yep, by uh, at midnight. Yeah, blow up the boat. Mm-hmm. So the boat, but how does he know where the boat's gonna be? Isn't it always in the same spot? Well, he has determined through a map of Amsterdam from oh, that's right. uh, the 16th century or something mm-hmm. like that, that like there's this old uh, pier and that's where St. Nicholas right. would the have came port. in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we're going to go over to the old wooden uh, dock yeah. or whatever, mm-hmm. which apparently still stands. And uh, we're going to blow We're going to blow it up. Yeah. And uh and this plan, unfortunately, is interrupted by the arrival of the police who are hunting for Gert. Correct. They they are out on the boat, um, a, a, about to approach the the boat, and then they see someone. They see a cop in the water from the from the boat earlier. That was, um, yeah, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That was like a that was a whole thing. It was yeah. a weird one because the so the the patrol boat we were talking yes, about. Yes, the patrol yeah. boat. That's it. Yeah, they see this guy mm-hmm. in a, in a dinghy, mm-hmm. and they're trying to rescue him. And then the cops, like the the police boat, shows up behind them, and they're like, put your hands up. And they're like, but there's this guy in the water. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then he like turns around. Frank t- turns around. And the guy's like. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> like Jack Titanic <laughs> style, yes. just gone. Yeah, they're like, yeah. Well, I guess like, we can't do anything right, about well. that. Okay, we're putting our hands up. Yeah. They're like, but okay. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, then the police the police take them aboard, and as they're going out, then they come across the the uh, the pirate ship, if you will. Um, I liked this. I liked this scene because Frank was like, "Is that the boat?" And he's like, "Yep." Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. 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 But they're now they're captives, right? On the so there's nothing they can do. Their right. boat full of explosives is being towed behind them. So again, as they're um, approaching this, the arresting officers um, they're going into deep fog, right? Yeah, this part of this how you know where we're getting closer. Yeah, and the they're fog. out on the on the front of the boat, kind of inspecting the situation. And while they're out there, they start hearing the screams of children. Yeah. And the smell of and something the, burning. They smell something burning, yeah. And they discover this old schooner, the pirate ship, that looks all mm-hmm. blown to shit because they're mm-hmm. like, oh, I hope he had insurance or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> um, so. Then they're, me, they're atta- then they're attacked by the Peters. They are. But before that, because um, we were talking about main characters in this movie, mm-hmm. and uh, we mentioned, I mean, obviously, Gert and Frank are yeah. currently involved in trying to uh, destroy Santa Claus. Mm-hmm. Where's Lisa in all this? Lisa kind of falls by the wayside. She's just... I think there's a phone yeah. call. He, he calls her from the boat to let her know like where he's at. Yeah. And to see if she'll believe him. And he said that he doesn't really think that she believes him. Um, but at that point, the police had showed up at her house um, to question her. And she's like, I got to go. The police are here. Yeah. And that's really the last we see of her until later. Yeah. It's, yeah. Uh, I don't know. That's a little bit of clunky screenwriting. Yeah, where you have is. like Because you set up, we meet her in the movie with Sophie before we meet Frank, I think, yeah. really. And so it's like, there's going to be this dynamic. And then it's just kind of like, I mean, I, yeah. I don't, what what does she do in the movie? Because I don't remember her being like the heroine of the of the film. I know she's not present really in the yeah. climax. I, they're they're trying to force that that scenario because earlier, you know, they they have a moment when we when it's revealed that she's the one that Frank like cheated on his girlfriend with. Um, She's very like hesitant about the situation. She's like, I don't know about this. I don't know if I feel right about this. Um, so at that point, they're kind of like in a limbo situation. She's like, I just need some time to think. And he's like, all right, I'll leave you alone. 
Yeah. Um, he calls her later. And yeah. He's repairing his uh, motorcycle in his, uh, in his kitchen. Yeah. yeah. And his mom uh, seems like she has some medical issues yeah. that she needs dealt with. And never cut that never comes back, though. Like that no. whole scene with his mom felt very unnecessary. No, I mean, they do reference it later in mm-hmm. the hospital, but it's. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. So it's a it's a it's a loose end in a screenplay yeah. where you're kind of like, okay, you didn't have. I, I feel like they're trying to, to bring this together at the end for like a happy ending, yeah. but it's kind of shallow. I don't okay. Know. Well, um, so Frank and Gert, right? Gert has mm-hmm. been wounded. We are also aware, right? Yeah. Well, well he, we're get, aware. he he gets wounded. Oh yeah, he was wounded earlier when he was fighting when Krampus. Or Krampus. When he was Saint, fighting Saint, Saint Nick, Nick with yeah. the flamethrower, apparently yeah. he was stabbed, and yeah. he's always holding his side. You know, and there's mm-hmm. mention of like you don't like, seem like you're going to make it to next year. You know, it's yeah. like okay, so he's dying, and then and his... then the Peters attack the boat. It's very like the fog. Very fog. John Carpenter's yeah. the fog. Yep. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, because they're all backlit, dark shadows, mm-hmm. shapes. They look like you know uh, sailors or whatever. And they jump on the, but it's a lot more action packed. Yeah. Like there's lots of like arms getting chopped off and people getting like chopped in half. And yeah. Oh my God. My favorite one is the one where, or is this later in the movie when um, St. Nicholas takes his like scepter staff? It's right. Yeah. It's right after they attack the boat. Yes. Right after that. Yeah. And he like hooks someone around the waist with it and then throw like, pushes the handle of the scepter so that it spins around the guy and then catches it on the when it loops around and then the guy splits in half and slides off. I think it's, it was his head. It was, was his it head? His head? Okay. Yeah, that, one. Yeah, that head. one was fucking cool. Yeah. yeah. Like there's style to all these murders and yeah. I yeah. love it. It's pretty great. Yeah, because I think like some of the the Peters get killed. Um, you know, I don't know. There's one guy on the on the boat, a mm-hmm. police guy and they stab him. He start his, uh, you know, death reflexes to pull the trigger on his machine gun. Yes. Oh my god, that yeah. was so cool. Yeah. And they awesome. like he stabbed through the mouth, right? And they yeah. turn his head to like move his body to aim the machine gun at the other people. It's yeah. they turn him into a human machine gun. It's great. Basically. So it's Dutch, Dutch police, I guess, also are armed, and you know, it's a <laughs> sure have, like yeah. Uzis and right, stuff. Yeah. Right. There. Um, In Dick Moss's world, they are. Yes. Yeah. Um, Why and, not? Give everyone a Kalishnikov. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then uh, our heroes, right, like uh, uh, end up on the dock because mm-hmm. everybody else is dead. There's mayhem at the docks. You didn't think this was going to be a movie that like took place on, on boats and on docks being a Santa right. Claus, uh, killer Santa Claus movie. But here we are. And I mean, it is Amsterdam. And they mm-hmm. still have their um, their boat is still loaded with. All this explosives. Uh, explosives. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Correct. But I think uh, the big police enforcer dude shows up mm-hmm. at this point because he's finally tracked him down. Mm-hmm. And we're like, oh man, they're just never going to be able to pull this off. Then what happens? Well, yeah, at this point, they're trying to rig up the boat to take it back out. Um, He's he's connected like some wires to like the explosives because at this point Gert is basically dying and kind of instructing him on what to do, and he gets um, Frank. You're saying right? Frank, yeah. yeah. Frank gets um, he gets like a powdered explosive mm-hmm. that he has he puts on the back of the boat that he's gonna like have it trail out behind the boat, um, and the, <laughs> there was a great joke at this point when he was like he's like are you sure about this stuff. It wasn't made in China, was it? And he's like, Taiwan. Mm. The explosives were made in China. <laughs> Which both of them got me. Yeah, they, t- It was pretty funny. It was good. <laughs> that was the a solid joke. The- that was a solid joke. So with Gert being basically presumed dead, actually, yeah. I think by some of the... Um, yeah. uh, it's going to be up to Frank, heroic mm-hmm. college student and um, uh, a ladies' man, is going to have to save the day because cramp... Oh, God damn it. Yeah. <laughs> Krampus. It feels like a Krampus movie. It does feel it does like, like a Krampus movie. Okay, yeah, St. Yeah. Nicholas yeah. Yeah. shows up in force here at the end, right? With all yeah. of his, they're all down on the and pier. And it's a, it's a great moment because the cops are there. They've shown up. They've they've stopped Frank and Frank's like, it's going to blow up. Like, you got to let me do this. 
and they're looking in the in the the harbor with binoculars and they see like heat signatures of the peters like going up on the ship and loading on the, the ship oh it's because they're they're like on fire inside. They're on, yeah they're yeah. on fire yeah yep. so they see the heat signatures of the peters like walking onto the ship and then there's that great scene where like the charred face pops up in front of the binoculars yes it's great it's fantastic yeah and he yeah. slaughters all the police officers that mm-hmm. are there and uh but not the not the enforcer dude been been something yeah uh but Frank, God bless him, is able to save the day. How's he do it? He, uh, with the flare, he lights the the barrel, which sends the boat flying towards the pirate ship. At this point, St. Nick has shown up, and that's when we get the staff going yes. around the head, which is fantastic. Um, there's, oh, there's some great deaths in this. Mm-hmm. Is this Good the one? fight choreography. Yeah, is this the one where like the guts are spilling out? Yes. Yep. Yeah, yep. that was fun. Yeah. Was fun. I mean, is it practical? Is it CG? I wasn't entirely sure. I think there was some practical, but it was a lot of CG. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, the backs, yeah. backgrounds are all replaced pretty badly. Mm-hmm. But, you know, yeah. you can tell they're on sets and stuff like that. But the boat rockets, the, the yes. explosive boat rockets out into the harbor, mm-hmm. makes contact with the phantom ship, yeah. and explodes. Explodes. Which don't, now, don't forget, there are children on that ship. Yep. Yeah. Yes. So all the kids are In dead. In a bag. Yeah. yeah. So, all the kids are dead. Uh, St. Nicholas is on the harbor, though, uh, on, the, on land. Yeah, and he trots off on his horse. But when the Gert, night. now mortally injured, you know, uh, uh, yeah. grabs Frank and he's really? like, I'm still alive. Yeah, and did we did we do it? Did we win? It's like, yeah, Gert, we got him. Was he just telling him that because he was dying? I think he told him that because, like, they were out to destroy the ship and they did that. And yeah. he's not sure what else he would have done. Right. So at this point, he's like, well, we did what you told me to do. So, as yeah, far we got as I him. know. Yeah. 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 Even though. St. Nicholas just kind of rode away. He just rode away. Yeah. He didn't explode. He didn't really, right? Mm-hmm. And so I believe at this point, the movie cuts through the following day. Right. At this point, it's the it's the cleanup. It's yeah. the, the the news stories and the police cover-ups and that kind of thing. Because at this point, the the police chief has been in contact with the mayor. And the mayor is like, you know, fix it. Make it make it an acceptable amount of death. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, because he asked him how many people were killed. You know, or what's yeah. the number? It was like 300, we think. Like that's too high. That's yeah. more than forty years ago, yeah, or like, thirty-two years ago, whatever. So basically, revealing that the police have always known that this happens, <coughs> and they yeah. just always try to cover it up. Yeah. So like yeah. the mayor knows there is a real Saint Nicholas, yeah. and he comes back because he says something to the effect of like the city of Amsterdam is uh, been dealing with this for centuries. Yeah, we're yeah. able to to absorb this. You know that he comes around, and kills a bunch of people every every thirty-two year or whatever. There's a yeah. full moon. And so, okay, you know, it's like, even though, shouldn't you then have, like, the anti-St. Nicholas uh, task force? Shouldn't Gert, I mean, <laughs> I why did think. you I mean, position think. him like, well, he's clearly a guy who's got experience with this, put him on. If it's only every 32 years, is not that frequent, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Whole yeah. generations will get hired and fired by that police department before I know. he ever comes around. And it seems again. like this time yeah. they have, like, a guy who's yeah. pretty well committed. Uh, yeah, uh, timing capable. is working on their side this time. Yeah. 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 Um... So Gert's dead, unfortunately. Gert's dead, he, and they, he died. Have, they have used him as a catalyst, and they've called him the serial killer, and he's responsible for a lot of these deaths. Yeah. They, we see yeah. news reports where they're like they're going through the catalog of everybody mm-hmm. who died, but it's all attributed to something else. Or mm-hmm. they say Gert, you know, mm-hmm. actually was the, 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 the culprit. Yeah. Um, Frank is seen recovering in a hospital room, mm-hmm. and he's visited by... Uh, the enforcer police dude. Mm-hmm. He comes in and he basically is trying to like smooth smooth everything over. He says this is from the mayor. Hands him an envelope. It's a the check. Blood money. Yeah, it's the blood. Your money. mom might need a procedure. Yeah. There's a surgeon and whatever. There's, yeah, there's there's a hospital in Switzerland yeah. that's really good at neuroscience, and I think your mom might benefit from going. So just think about it. And yeah. He's like, I'm even going to try to clear Gert's resume a little bit. And, you know, he's trying to smooth things over. Well, that's because of Frank. Frank pushes for that. He's like, yeah. Gert's the only guy who actually knew what was yeah. going on. He's defending the guy's, you know, memory. Like, that's not what happened. Yeah. You know it. Yeah, because I thought this would be the scene where there's like, you know, oh, they're going to, you know, you're the loose end. And, you know, but yeah. no, they do leave him alive. 
uh, the official yeah. the government cover up. You yep. know, it's like basically, you know, here's some payoff money. What was oh, what was the line? Like, oh, that's the thing about Christmas presents. You always get crap you don't need. <laughs> uh, yeah. And he says, uh, you know, something like, do, you know, do we understand each other? You know, mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like, mm-hmm. you know, you know, this is a, this is an offer you can't refuse kind mm-hmm. of thing. And, um, then there's a nightmare sequence where, uh, he believes that he's being attacked by, uh, one of the black Peters. Mm-hmm. And then it turns out it's just a dream. It's actually Lisa has arrived in his, uh, hospital room mm-hmm. and, She's um, going to give him a Christmas present. Yeah. 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 This scene was. What? I def- didn't expect this and wasn't yeah, sure what it, we were supposed a, to take It's away a wraparound that makes no sense. Yep. A wraparound. That- oh, so she uh, she unwraps herself. Right, because earlier, you know, he he's like, oh, your parents aren't home. Maybe you should let me inside and I can get my Christmas present. And mm-hmm. she's like, no, I don't feel comfortable with that. I need some time. Mm-hmm. Well, now she's ready. And in the hospital. Getting in topless the hospital. in the hospital yeah. room. Yeah. I assume this it's is... going to go further than yeah. that. But we but unfortunately that's what we see. Yeah. pan we away yeah. and out the window mm-hmm. to the city of Amsterdam. Where we go atop a steeple. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and they're presiding over his... His, uh, his community is in St. Nick. <laughs> so is he stranded there now? I don't know. Well, and boat? like, does he show up in not, not St. Nick times? Like, can he yeah, show up any time now? I know. What the fuck is this? This is the I next like, day. No yeah, it's this not his December day 6th. anymore. Yeah. So why, why is, is this he still Christmas? around? Yeah. No idea. <laughs> now, if they would have cut to like a one year later thing, yeah. that would have made way more sense. But. Yeah. I can so figure like the fog. Now. You yeah. have to retreat with the fog. Exactly. You know, the fog goes away and so does uh, St. Nicholas. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know. So there's a couple of, um, mm-hmm. you know, loose ends and it ends with him staring at the camera. And, rah, you know, ooh, very scary. And then metal. That's a fun song. Yeah. <laughs> probably made by Dick Moss. Dick Moss. Probably. Some Dutch yeah. metal at the end. Mm-hmm. Dutch metal. Mm-hmm. I like it. Yeah. Great. <laughs> the dark Dutch metal. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it was I pretty it. rocking. I dig it. Yeah. All right, well, should you watch this movie, Holly, is the question. Mm. The audience is asking mm. right now, probably, it's having heard question. this. And we should probably tell them. We Individually, tell them. we're going to go around the table and, and fill you in. But first, we're going to answer some of your mail. And in order to do that, we're going to have to summon our mailman. His name is Igor. Bring us the mail. Masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. Why, thank you, Igor. I wonder what, like, the Dutch version of Igor is, huh? I don't know. Right? I mean, he's from all over. Parts of him are Dutch. Yeah, that's true. Does Igor have a Christmas list? Has he shared it with you guys? You got, you know what he's asking for for Christmas oh, shit. this year? I haven't done my Igor shopping yet. Yeah. I know. <laughs> yeah. We should probably get him yeah, something. Yeah. We don't he usually. He just work hard. Yeah, you know? I know. Mm. Uh, I usually just give him like the rolls from the paper, from the wrapping paper. Oh, yeah, paper. yeah, yeah. yeah. He loves those. <laughs> he <laughs> just bumps them him. on his head. Yeah. yeah. Puts them in his lair. He sleeps yeah. on them. Yes. <laughs> Nests <laughs> until next year. Um, so we should let the good folks at home know, remind them again, how they can participate on this interactive portion of our show by following along on Facebook, facebook.com slash Saturday Freak Show or X at Sat Freak Show, or they can email us Saturday Night Freak Show at yahoo.com or they can follow along on threads or Instagram at Saturday Night Freak Show about tonight's movie, Saint, Saint <laughs> or Saint Nick. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if a lot of people have seen this. Asobi Datura writes in in the uh, spirit of the holidays mm-hmm. and says, "What are the host's favorite Christmas holiday songs? One traditional and one modern." Oh, what do you got? Uh, I I mean the Elvis Christmas songs. I love all that. The Elvis Christmas album is really mm-hmm. good. Blue Christmas is fucking that's yeah, a, that Blue song Christmas. rips. Yeah. Um. Modern, like I think that Sarah McLachlan uh, winter song, which is not necessarily Christmas, but mm. winter song is a good is a good one. Yeah, but you know that Christmas shoes song can go to hell. That's my yeah, favorite one. Can. Fuck that song. Oh, I fuck fuck that song. <laughs> fuck that, fuck song. that song. And calling it a song is generous because it's really a guy telling a story to a rhythm. Like yeah. it's about it's a kid whose sad. mom has cancer it's and is dying. Hell. Yeah, oh. it's fucking stupid. Oh, it's so oh, sad. Fuck it's the Christmas so, shoes. Stupid song. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I. Uh, I have a soft spot for green sleeves. Yeah. I love that song. I mm-hmm. love that melody. Um, um, I mean, I feel like modern Christmas, like all. Most of them suck. I mean, 
Christmas songs are all the same. Like, mm-hmm. It's just the same stuff redone over and over It's the same again. 20 songs covered by 80,000. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, I, I can tell you I really fucking hate My Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer. Oh, that oh, one's terrible. I really hate that song. Yeah, I hate it. Hate it. Why I heard it co- again the other day. I'm listening and, to Christmas uh, Oh, another one. Uh, the Hippopotamus for Christmas. Oh, my God. Oh. Fuck Go that fuck song. It. Go Why fuck do song. Christmas songs have to tell a story? Just give us a vibe. Yourself, Just give yeah. us the vibe of Christmas. You don't have to tell a full fucking narrative in your one song. One of my favorite things, because it's so awful, go look up the video of Jessica and Ashley Simpson singing... Little drummer oh, I've boy. seen. It. I saw that live when it happened. <laughs> oh, so did I. That was when they gave Nick it's, and uh, Jessica the variety yeah, show, yeah, right? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh God. Yeah. No. I. Yeah. That video still brings me so much joy of how awful it yes. is. It's hilarious. I love it. What about you, Colin? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Traditional. I mean, I like Nat King Cole's. Mm-hmm. Um, oh yeah. Christmas song. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's Fantastic. Andy Williams, I think, does. Um, Classic. Is mm-hmm. is uh oh, what's this, is it all I want most for wo- cre- the most wonderful time well, of the year? Wonder- yeah. Is that the only one that talks about like the scary ghost stories and it's that one? Yeah. 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 Um. So Ty and modern. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I do like Last Christmas. Last Christmas is good, great, and it's yeah. a legit yeah. good pop song. It yeah, is it's it's not a good pop, song. pop song. That's what I'm talking yeah. about. Like just capture like the only thing that makes that a Christmas song is like they say Christmas a handful of times, and there's like slight jingle bells in the background. Yeah. Yeah. Well, otherwise, yeah, yeah. that is a pop song. Yeah. That's very. And true. It's depressing. Yeah, like, it is. You know? yeah. yeah, like he had this relationship with this girl. So he's like, you remember no. who I? And, no, okay, nope. maybe. I don't think it was a girl, Colin. Yeah. Oh, George Michael, true. yeah. Well, and yeah. then you don't know who you're li- like. I heard the Taylor Swift version. Oh, that's uh, I'm everybody's sorry. done a version of it. Go fuck yeah. yourself. Um, all right, so there you go. Uh, last week <laughs> we watched a movie called Deadly Friend, and Joey oh, wow. Blythe says, Funny thing, I'm looking, listening to your back catalog. I'm currently on the cursed episode where Colin first mentions. Deadly Fred. Nice. Was that the first time? Because that's a long time ago because that was one of the first movies I brought. Okay. On our Wes Craven uh, uh, catalog that we've done. Yeah. 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 You know what we missed last week when we were talking about it? Deadly Blessing, which it was Deadly Friend, Deadly Blessing. Yeah. It was one of his early movies. Mm-hmm. Uh, Michael Whitaker says uh, 1986 is too recent in our history to be pulling bullshit science like sticking a computer chip in someone's head. <laughs> Fair. I mean, true. Yeah. Fair. But also Johnny Mnemonic was a couple years after that movie, yeah. right? But and they still were doing hard that. Drive. He totally Okay. <laughs> Mark Harrison, because we were saying the other movie, or we said that uh uh a Deadly Friend was Chrissy Swanson's film debut. Yeah. Not true. She no. was in she Ferris was in Bueller's Fer- Day Off. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh so which he points out, but that was her first starring role was gotcha. uh, Deadly yeah. Friend. And was Sam Mo- or not Sam Mo- uh um Pretty in pink before this or after this? Uh, that would have been before. That would have been 85. Both. Uh, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the week before that, we watched The Prowler. Mark Harrison writes in again and says, uh, still, film needed some script reviews. They mm-hmm. should have been victims. Uh, could it be that they ran out of a budget or time to have their death scene? Oh, he's talking about the Tom Bray uh, scene in the attic where they were being peeped on. Yeah. The Prowler. And it was shot like a slasher movie scene, but like nobody but nothing happened. died. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So it was really weird. And Michael Whitaker says the Prowler should have workshopped a more cohesive theme before his murder spree because I agree. Yeah. they had a problem with that movie. Like, we were like, what was the motive? For Very the... disappointed yeah. in that movie. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. All right. mm-hmm. Well. There you go. Thank you. Wonderful, <laughs> wonderful insight. We appreciate you writing in. Yes. Thank Love you very it. much. Uh, now we're going to go around the table and tell you if you should watch tonight. Michaela! Mo- <laughs> what did All you right. think of tonight's movie? You know, uh, I, I got a special place in my heart for Dick Moss uh, ever since we watched Down, parentheses, The Shaft. Um, because that movie was so much more than I expected. And same with this movie. I got to say, the man always over delivers. Yeah. Always. Like, you can never say a, a movie of his is sparse or boring even um they don't always if there's fully one make thing sense. Dick does it's moss yes <laughs> yes uh he's like like the dutch michael bay i guess right you know like always going over the top and 
adding explosions and you know it's all stuff you kind of seen before but it also isn't because i have never seen this kind of santa riding horses and being badass before so um i mean the iconography and like the look of santa and the vibe of santa in this movie is just so cool i love old world like eastern european christmas shit and this movie like does a good job of bringing that into like quote unquote present day uh the effects are terrible like like we've watched movies that were 10 years older than this that had way better effects you know it's Mm -hmm. shocking how bad they are but it makes up for it in so many other insane ways that i'm almost not bothered by it it is very much a 2010 like grimy like dark kind of horror look like you know this exact look of this movie from this time especially like direct dvd type movies i feel like there was a lot like this like lots of digital effects and digital grime and digital blood and it's like it's it was an unfortunate time but I like that this man does some weird shit and he sets out to entertain and I am always entertained by his movies. So I'm going to recommend it. Colin, what do you think? Uh, yeah. I mean, I think you're hitting on it. It's mm-hmm. a Dick Moss movie over delivers. Um, mm-hmm. When you said you're bringing Saint, I had a, a memory of the, I saw it on a Blu-ray shelf mm-hmm. and it was the poster and you're like, okay, how many more of these killer Santa movies can we, can we see? Right. And so I did, I skipped it. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, as I was, you said, we're watching it. I look it up. It's Dick Moss. I'm like, oh, now I know who Dick <laughs> Moss is because we've done his other stuff. And it's like, okay, so this is going to be some kind of. He's done a mo- another movie, I think, called Prey. Prey, yes. yeah, not, which is also on my list. Yeah, it's not the recent Prey. Not the Predator no, movie. it's like a, it's like a lion is loose in Amsterdam. Yes. So yes. we yes. got to watch it. At some I point. think it's like 2016 or something. It'll yeah. probably look just as bad effects wise as this yeah, movie. But, yeah, yeah. Well, that was. I yeah. mean. Uh, you know, and, and and to the listener who who fires this up, you know, thinking it does the the visual effects are very off putting, as in their amateur, and you know, uh, but if you yeah. can get past that, and I guess that's what I was kind of, you know, I was like, okay, this looks really very, very dodgy. You know, is this movie going to redeem itself? And I think it did. I, I was uh, very entertained. It was funny. It was quick. It was fast paced. It was, uh, you know, not what you expect from a killer Santa movie. Mm-hmm. Um, I think, you know, obviously there, there's problems with the scripting, uh, just, you know, with its loose mm-hmm. story threads and character arcs that aren't going anywhere, but it was just overall, it's got a, a tone and a feel that it feels in keeping with, you know, having seen his other stuff, a uh, uh, Dick, Ma- I don't know what else to compare it to. Yeah. It's a Dick Moss movie. Uh, which I guess, you know, that's like a uh, a thing. Like, you know, if he's actually making this much of a impression, yeah. we should probably watch some of his other stuff. We mm-hmm. Yeah, we're going to explore more of Dick Moss. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, sure. So, yeah, I don't know. It was it was entertaining. It was fun. Um, it was gory. Uh, I enjoyed it. I'm going to say uh, I would recommend. I'm, I'm surprising myself. I'm mm-hmm. surprised. Watch I Saint I love it. Nick. <laughs> Holly, what'd you think? Yeah, so this movie is a fun, fun ride. Um, I was really excited about it when I found it. Um, the The trailer, watch the trailer. If you like what you see, you're going to like the movie. It's an accurate trailer of what this movie is. Um, it's so much fun. I think you guys nailed everything. Like, it has its problems. The effects are terrible, but I feel like I got on board with it really quick. And I was like, okay, this is what I'm, this is what I'm getting from this movie. I'm going with it. Mm-hmm. And as long as you do that, like you're going to have a fun ride. Um, the, I, I think Dick Moss knows exactly what he's doing. He is out to entertain his audience and he does it well. It's just over the top and fun and ridiculous. And like you were saying, I love Michaela, like you were saying, I mm-hmm. love the look of St. Nick, mm-hmm. the, eastern european iconic like Mm -hmm. pope hat like it's so cool and just the badass like zombie on a horse like it's just so on a zombie horse (laughs) yeah on a zombie horse it's like this movie's so metal Mm -hmm. i love it so much (laughs) yeah it's it's fun i think you know we've gotten a lot of killer santa movies but i feel like this one is up there for me this was a good time i definitely recommend it for sure his movies are all like about like it's a supernatural thing, and there's like this massive armed response yeah. yep. to it. Yeah. Or I suppose yep. Amsterdam isn't supernatural, but it's still about like you know, go big. Yeah, <laughs> all Amsterdam set right. All of his movies. Oh, the yeah. Lift, I think, was the remake was New York City, but you know, yeah, yeah. 
interesting guy, or at least interesting movies that he yeah. makes. So, all right. Uh, so that wraps up uh, Saint, and next week we're going to be watching a movie that's chosen by Michaela. What are we watching for our final, uh, r- final regular episode final. of the year? We're going to watch Thirty Days of Night. Oh, oh we're, we're going to put that. Josh Hartnett on the wall. I oh. think. Oh, uh, so yeah, right? Yeah, I think, I think so. We are. Yeah. We just did one of his. Yeah. yeah and did. then we did the faculty. So, oh, right. Okay, okay. Yeah. You're yeah, right. I think we are. So, yes. Haven't seen this 10 years. I know. It's like it's maybe, been a long but it's a winter time. vampire. We're going movie, into so. winter. Yes. All right. I like mm-hmm. it. I like 30 it. days of night. Mm-hmm. Next week on the Saturday Night Freak Show, we hope you'll join us. Uh, don't forget to submit a, uh, a listener request. And uh, now we're gonna we're gonna shut the shut the power off in the basement. We're oh, gonna God. we're gonna go dark. So uh, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.